How do we stop judging life and start reveling in it? Well, we're going to find out this morning. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Welcome back. Good morning, guys. Good to be with you. I want to hit this whole idea of judging. It kind of follows on from, uh, from making, uh, sec making being your highest version of yourself second nature, if we talked about that uh, in our last video. We need to, this idea of a judgment, we judge things as good or bad, right or wrong. We judge others and we judge ourselves. And so how do we do it? How do we stop, finally, stop judging, stop judging ourselves, Stop judging others. Stop trying to categorize and pigeonhole things into good and bad and right and wrong. And, and just let life be as it be. Guys, choose. You get to choose. Choose who and what you want to be. But here's the key. Without condemning that which you choose, that which you do not choose. This is huge. This is big. So choose who and what you want to be. Choose what you want in your life, what you want in your experience, what you want to attract, what you want to give your awareness to, what you want to give your attention to, what you want to give your thoughts to. You get to choose that. But don't condemn, this is huge, that which you don't choose. This is really what, this is what trips us up. This is what, this is what stalls our creations and the, the things that we want in life. This is what, this is why we, we had, guys, this is a big one. You attract the things you condemn. You attract the things you want to push away. You attract the things that you say that you don't want. So instead of judging, instead of condemning, choose what you want, but don't condemn that which you do not want. We've seen this a lot in 2020, right? Because someone doesn't agree with you, because someone doesn't share your views, they're wrong. You are right. And, and you, don't just want, you don't just want them to agree with you. You want to destroy what they, what they agree with. You don't want that to exist. Instead, bless everything. Yeah? Give thanks. Bless everything and give thanks that you have the right to choose, that you have the, not the right, but the, but the free will, but the gift, God's gift to choose. I think Abraham Hicks and some other spiritual teachers have talked about this. Vadim, Vadim Zeeland, who wrote uh, Transurfing Reality, which we'll talk about later today, I think, um, uh, talks about this idea. It's like going into an art museum and, and seeing the art that you like, but then seeing art that you don't like and asking the museum uh, head of the museum to say, take this art out of here. I do not like this. I do not choose this. I do not want to look at it. Guys, it's crazy right? Or, or a buffet of food and you don't like broccoli. So you, you tell them to remove the broccoli, get it out of my sight. I don't even want broccoli here. No, guys, that's crazy, right? Broccoli has a right to exist. <laughs> broccoli has a right to exist, right? Just because you don't choose it doesn't mean that, it, that, that you should condemn it, that you should, that you should, uh, judge it as good or bad or right or wrong. Let it exist as it, as it is. Everything has a right. Everyone has a right to exist and to do what they want to do and, and feel that they want to feel, right? It's only when we start judging what's right or wrong, when we start trying to limit things because we don't agree with it, we don't choose it, right? We are free, cho we are free to choose. Bless it instead. Bless everything. Give thanks. Give thanks for that you have the free will to choose, right? Bless that broccoli. <laughs> if you don't like broccoli, bless it anyway, right? You get to choose what you want. If it's green beans, if it's mashed potatoes, doesn't matter, guys, right? So how do we do it? How do we stop this judging? How do we stop this trying to, trying to categorize things as good or bad or right or wrong? We are judging constantly right? We've seen this in 2020 quite a bit. People really digging in on their, on their choices, right? Condemning uh, the other choices, not wanting even those other choices to exist. That doesn't even make sense, right? Our, God gave us the free will, gave us that seed to create what we want. Because somebody creates something different 
doesn't mean that's right or wrong or good or bad. It just is, and it's not for you. You've got to attract and be aware into your, attract in your existence what you choose, right? You're responsible for creating your life layer. Others are responsible for theirs. It, it is simply not, yeah. So instead of right or wrong, it's simply not what you choose, right? It's not right, it's not wrong, it's just not right for you. Right? It's not what you choose to be, or it's not what you choose to bring in your existence, right? Stop rejecting guys, attacking, harming things that you don't agree with or you don't choose to have in your life, right? This is that whole idea. Instead, bless it. Imagine the power in just blessing everything, whether you choose it or not, right? Once you bless it, don't give your attention to it because you don't want it in your existence. You don't want it in your experience, right? This is what, this is what trips us up. We, instead of focusing on, uh, being, uh, focusing on attracting the things that we want in life, being, making choices to be the best version that we want to be, we have to now, we not only, we, we feel that we have to judge the things that we don't choose. We have to condemn the things that we don't choose. We have to harm the things that we don't choose. We have to get rid of the things that we don't choose. No, no, that keeps you on the, that, that, then you start attracting those things. You attract, guys, this is huge. You attract what you condemn. Yes, you, you attract what you reject, right? You attract with you what you resist. I think it's in Neil Donald Walsh in, in Conversations with God, when you re, uh, what you resist persists, right? So instead of rejecting, attacking, and pushing against, we, we have all this pushing against, we have all this attacking, all this condemnation. We've seen this in 2020 quite a bit. It's always been there. It just seems to be uh, more expressed this year than ever before. Choose. Choose and bless it. Let others choose and be who they are, and then you choose and be who you are. Be that better version. If you choose that, choose with love. Remember, we talked about that. So how do we do it? How do we get to this idea? Well, we accept. Now, when we talk about acceptance, it doesn't mean you agree Right? It doesn't mean that you think it's good. It, doesn't mean, it, it means you just accept its right to exist. Accept the right for broccoli to exist, <laughs> even if you don't choose it. Right? Exit those, it, it, uh, accept the right for those other paintings that you don't like in the museum to exist. It's not right or wrong. Right? Accept it and then choose love. Choose, when I say choose love, choose what feels good to you, that higher ideal, that perfect love. That's, so when you start choosing from that, then you're attracting, then you become a magnet, a, a magnet for love, a magnet for goodness, a magnet for the things you want in love, life. A big one, just stop denying who you are and be that highest version of yourself, right? We're, we're in denial, we deny, we deny ourselves the thing, we deny ourselves good things sometimes, right? We deny ourselves sometimes the best food. Oh, I shouldn't eat that. I shouldn't drink that. Oh, I shouldn't do that. People will think that's bad, right? People start judging me, right? Oh, money, money is the root of all evils. I don't want, oh yeah, people that have money, oh yeah, they, yeah, they got it. Guys, stop denying yourself. You came here as God, right? You are spirit. God became you so you could become her. Right? You are here to create. You are here to experience it all. The good, the bad, the, 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 uh, the happy, the sad. We're in duality. All of that mixed together is God. All of that. Light and dark, right? This is the whole idea. And how would we know what to choose? How would we be able to choose light if we didn't know dark, what darkness is? How would we be able to choose love if we didn't know what hate is? How would we be able to choose um, uh, happy if we didn't know what sad is, right? This is the whole beautiful thing about duality, about this idea that we, everybody has the free will to choose the life they want to live. And everyone has the, the free will to choose how they want to feel and think and what to believe in, right? This is a wonderful thing. Acceptance. 
Stop, stop making judgments, guys. Stop judging yourself. Stop judging others. And just be yourself. Give yourself permission to be that loving, higher, wiser you. Give yourself permission to like what, to choose what you want in your life. Right? There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. There just is. Right? So acceptance. Right? Now, again, acceptance, the idea of acceptance, well, Tom, I, I can't accept that. Well, uh, guys, acceptance doesn't mean you agree with something. It doesn't mean that it's right for you. It just means that you accept, you give, you let it exist. You accept that it exists. And then you put your focus, your awareness, your attention on what you want in your life. Right? Stop trying to start, stop giving attention to the things you don't want, the things you don't like, the things you want to get rid of. Right? That just attracts more of it. If you ever notice, you never get to the bottom of everything. It's always people going at it, right? I, I, it, 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 is the, it, it, it is nonstop until you inside, you decide that you choose what you want in life. You can't choose for others. You can't force others to agree with you. You can't force others to like what you like or be who you are. You are unique. You get to make those choices. Guys, this is a brilliant idea today. I want to get back to this idea of acceptance because sometimes people think, well, acceptance is giving in. It's giving up. It's, 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 um, it's, no, it's not, guys. it's, it's um, agreeing with something that you don't like or agree or, or, or agreeing with something that seems to be bad or perceived as bad in the world. No, acceptance is accepting its right to live. We live in a dual universe, whether, whether we like it or not, we are in duality. It's a beautiful thing. We wouldn't know the highest love unless we knew the lowest low. Right? We wouldn't know, we wouldn't know what, ha what great happiness and great joy feels like unless we've had great despair and great, and, and great sadness. It's all good. It all works. What I'm trying to share with you is don't get stuck in it. Stop judging. Right? Stop categorizing. Stop and start accepting that it, all, it is all there for you to choose from. It's a buffet. Life is a beautiful buffet. Of, of things that you get to choose from. Choose the things that make you feel good. And that's what life's about. Guys, this is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness in San Diego, California, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. We're going to talk more about this. There's more to come. Don't forget to like the video. There's a caricature of me with a headset. Press that or anytime through the video, press the Be Something Wonderful in the right hand corner. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a Be Something Wonderful YouTube video. Also like the video, share it, comment. Tell me, tell me your thoughts. Guys, this is how we get the message out there. This is Tom Karen in the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness. Until next time, see you soon.